Hey guys, Salaam Alaikum and welcome back to our channel. Salaam everybody, what's going on? We are currently in Jordan. We just arrived last night to Amman and drove for what? Four and a half, five hours. hours to El Aqaba, which is our current location right now. We are here with UMR. Woohoo! Look at see. my vest and oh, my shirt. She got a fresh vest going on. <laughs> I'm UMR and out right now. So yeah, we are here with them on a mission trip. Yes, we're on a mission trip to help those in need to make a change, inshallah, by using our social media platforms. You know, yes. we love what we do. We love entertaining you guys. We love putting a smile on your faces. And as we do that, we also like to bring awareness to what's happening in the world and yes. also create change, inshallah. You know, as Omar just said, creating change, that's the biggest thing we try to do every year. Yeah. And with you, Omar, our biggest mission here is to help people with cataract surgery and hearing aids. Yes, so today in Anakaba, we're actually going to focus on cataract um, surgeries yes. and see the patients, meet them, um, get to hear their story. So I want to bring you guys along with me so you can see the work that we're doing here in Jordan with UMR's help. so we just arrived at the eye center and this is where they're going to be having the surgery today inshallah All right, guys, so right now we are leaving Al Aqaba and we are on the way to Amman. We just finished our first mission in Al Aqaba and the road to Amman, it's a little bit scary right now because it was snowing a lot and we are just trying to leave early so we can arrive there safely, inshallah. Early before the sun sets because yeah. at nighttime the road is pitch black. Yeah. There's no light, no nothing. Like if you're stuck, Oh well. Yeah, and you want <laughs> like, to be. And, there's nothing around. Exactly, and you want to be safe and see the road. Um, and the road conditions aren't the best no. throughout. So and without. It's a long drive too. Yeah, like it's almost yeah. like four and a half hours without any snow or stoppage, yeah. but with snow, we're thinking maybe like six, close to seven. So. Because we're driving slower too. Yeah, we just want to get there safely, inshallah. Yeah. So. Yes. Well, well, I'm really excited. <laughs> for Amman because our mission trip over there is going to be super special. Yes. We'll be helping lots of children. I have like this like connection with children. Like I love helping yeah, and everyone but when it comes to children it's just like you know. It hits home. It hits yeah. Home. Yeah and there's also food distribution the last day. So we'll show you guys everything we do when we arrive there inshallah. inshallah. And we'll show you guys also the road on the way too. Yeah let's just hope and pray that uh, we get there safe. Inshallah. So as you can see, we made it all the way to Amman. The road was actually not as bad as uh, they were warning us yesterday. Yeah. So that's great. But there is a lot of snow in Jordan. It's freezing. Yes. Um, anyways, today we are in Jerash, Jordan. Is yeah, that correct? That's correct. It is a Gaza camp yeah. uh, where we are helping children and also adults who have some disabilities. Yes. 
pretty much here we're getting to meet the people that run the center as well as what the different programs they offer here in the center which are many there's so many yeah. different uh programs that they offer here and like Omaya just said um any child or any even adult that has some sort of disability they work with here they try to offer things from like social services as well as just coming here to get some sort of therapy um, ex um, exactly. education as well to depending on what it is that they are um, needing for needing, and also yes. depending on your age group um so for example they offer um programs for autism yes. for um like low hearing, hearing or poor hearing yes. as well as speech um, as well speech and down syndrome yes. so this center literally helps everyone in this community here in Jeddah. Yep. um it's one of 13 throughout jordan what, throughout yeah. jordan yes, yes. And pretty much what we're focusing on today is hearing aid. Um, we're going to meet people that have had hearing aid in the past, but the hearing aid has been damaged, mm -hmm. as well as people that are getting it brand new. The people here don't have basic health care, so it's very hard for them to get the hearing aid, as well as to just maintain it. Yeah. So if it, they get one and it gets damaged, that's they stop it for them for it. many years because they rely on donations yeah. and all that type of stuff so they and can get it. And it's also hard once it stops working for you to get another one. It's yes. just very difficult. Um, uh, when it comes to stuff like that so exactly. we are here to inshallah help those who need a new one yeah. or those who've never had one before yeah. and the one that they'll be getting today is more um it's definitely more improved it improved it's, it's made them. to last longer exactly mm -hmm. and also they're gonna have the family members be able to put it on them um we'll try to see if we can show you guys a different age group maybe like yeah. a younger child and then uh, an adult yeah as well as hopefully we could get to see their home and living uh style so we can show it to you all and we have more of a like a, an understanding, an of understanding yeah of their lifestyle so we're super excited to be here and to be able to share it with you guys so you guys can also make a difference in their lives with your donations is yes. just amazing everything is appreciated yes. every dollar counts every um, dollar counts everything counts well, look and for them. Um, it goes a long way um just seeing us as people being able to help others out محمد هلا كيف الصوت هلا احسن ولا قبل احسن شو هلا احسن اوكي So right now what she's doing is she's just trying to get him to be able to put it on himself. On himself, yeah. Just so when he's at home, he's able to to set it up and be able to use it. Yeah. And I think now she got it good. Okay. 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 بلال سامع فيني اه سامع ماما اه ممتاز برافو اه ياي طيب آه بدي اياكي تحكي معاها تطلب منها تعد بالعشرة اسالي لها اي سؤال وتاكد انه الصوت واصل لها تمام تمام بدي نشرح اقول لها عد العشرة انا بعرف انه هي بتساعد الاشار على ساين لانجويج على الاشاره بس انت حاولي تنين مع بعض يعني قبل ما تسمع الصوت مع الاشاره بلال عد للعشرة يلا هي كمان بس عم بتشوف اه حركة الشفاد اوكي رح احكي لها انا عدي للعشرة واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربعة خمسة جابوا بطلة ممتاز بس نتأكد انه مش مضايقة مش مضايقة من الصوت العالي تمام 
هلا هي ببلش شوي معتمدة على الاسبان لانجويج اكثر من الحكي لحالها عشان هيك مش عم تتجاوز كثير على السماع لحالها لازم يكون في مساعده معها تمام All right so the doctor just finished putting her hearing aid now and alhamdulillah she's able to hear a lot better she was able to hear her mom's speak to her name yeah. as well as the doctor's noises that she was banging on the desk. to test her hearing yeah. with her situation she was very reliant on using sign language throughout yes. so we're going to now inshallah have her mom practice with her throughout these next few months speaking like speech together therapy, yeah. and using low, uh, less than the sign language yes. just so she can get used to it her hearing. Yes. Inshallah. Inshallah. this is her mom mm -hmm. the doctor this is her. And our little patient she's beautiful <laughs> So the doctor just wants to make sure that they're able to use it correctly at home. So she's having her mom put it in uh, for her. In. Yeah. Because at the same time, a lot of them, when they go home, they don't know how to use it properly. Yeah. So she's making her use it in front of her. Just yeah. So and that sure. loud noise is... It's going to get disabled as soon as it goes into the ear because it's customized. As soon as it fits perfectly, it stops the, the loud noise, right? Exactly. And it adjusts to their um, hearing. Okay. It adjusts. Yeah. When she inputs it, you'll, yeah. you'll hear it. See, there we go. It stopped. <laughs> oh, let's go. Here you go. <laughs> huh? So we just got to one of the many refugee camps here for Syrians and we're doing food distribution as well as like winter uh, clothing. As you see the people are here waiting for the food to be distributed. We're setting it up over there. It's going to be a mixture of oils and foods as well. And then and after clothes. that we're going to do the clothes. So we are passing the winter distribution boxes to the families here at the camp. So we are inside of one of the tents and I'm not gonna lie guys it's very cold in here. Okay, so we pretty much just opened the box here with her and she showed me everything that they use and she also mentioned that pretty much this food is gone within two days. Um, she lives here with eight people. There are eight people total. So this box by itself is only good for two days. So just imagine the other days that they go without food. So inshallah with your donations, we can help them provide possibly more food and just have some sort of program so they could get their food on a monthly basis or possibly weekly basis inshallah inshallah salam again muhammad here with umr as you can see we are in mafra jordan one of many random refugee syrian camps here in jordan families are lined up to receive their food packaging as well as their winter clothing and again their living condition is not the safest and honestly we are doing our best so we can just provide them stuff for these cold months that we're going into so please anything that matters anything helps as you can see this is their living conditions it's not the best it's not the safest and for only a hundred dollars you can provide a family in need with a food package and winter kit click the link in my bio to make a donation today